Mm, microphone seems to be working. Good, good, good. <coughs> Day Monday. Hey Steven. Hey Mel. Akka. Spectre. What's good? So. Hey folks here. Yet again. This um, Maria posted a really cool portrait with the interesting light. Hey Miguel, how's it going? Congrats on making it to the um, finals. For those who missed it, it's there's the YouTube hype trailer. <laughs> Anyways, so today we're going to study this one. It has some really interesting uh, things happening. Um, the thing I want to try is... Um, um, and Fuxio also, congrats by the way, you also made it. Stellar job. Uh, so the things, the things I picked up from this uh, reference Zialin, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, yeah. So one of the things that I that I picked up is is if you look at the the colors here and the highlights and how they bounce and uh, the highlights going down there and there and there. In general, is great modeling, as in you can really see the the form changes. So I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to work as little as I can on the lit parts, if that makes sense. I'm I'm gonna try to put the emphasis on the shadow side. It's going to be a, a little bit of a experiment. We'll see. I'm not really good at this. Uh, there's some artists that are, has this kind of super gentle touch. Um, I'm not one of them. I'm quite heavy-handed and, and um, brutish in my in my brushwork. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, there's a lot of interesting. Uh, um, things happen and I think for anyone who wants to study there's different things to take there's interesting angular change with the shoulders and head there is light there is colors there's quite a lot of interesting things there I think it's worth studying um, but I'm gonna study the, the um, I guess highlights Or the lit part. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Trying to eyeball that background. Probably a little bit darker. Somewhere there, perhaps. Oh really, Azealy? That's really cool. Yeah, so I think there is some quite uh, fascinating aspects of this. And funny enough, uh, when she posted this uh, photo, someone wrote on her uh, on her Facebook, uh, you can expect more portraits. 
And it's true though, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, reference. Hmm. The light has, has to be somewhere here. I actually want to make it that a little bit bigger. Yeah, so it's crazy. We are now in the finale of of uh, Unreal Bjornament. Amazing. It took what we started May first. Was that when we started? I think so. Zelin, March 1st. Didn't I say March 1st? Did I say some other date? May 1st? No, I said March. I'm confused. Spectre, the next round for Unreal Bjornament, the finale, the topic is indeed announced. The topic is indestructible. Zillin, I said May? Shit. <laughs> I meant March, 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 March. That's like purple ish. This is feels like it's the beginning of is this dress uh, blue or yellow <laughs> if you remember that um, thing that circulated internet a while back Steven, yeah, it is, it is a complicated um, uh, reference, but it can teach you a lot of things, and uh, I think that's why um, I decided to pick this because it 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 is complex, but you can study certain things, right? You don't need to study the whole photo as it is if it's too complicated you can study the you can break down the anatomy you can uh, do a color study you know there's all these things you can uh, study you don't necessarily need to copy this complicated uh, reference you know Uh, Spectre, there are no restrictions on the topic. Um, 
I didn't set any um, this time around. So it's uh, you can choose whatever you, uh, the the finalists can choose whatever, however they want to interpret the uh, topic. But the idea why I wanted in the previous round why I wanted um, uh, restrictions, as in you you gotta use uh, multiple uh, more than one. Um, figure in the composition was that uh, it's like um, the idea is <laughs> like you got to show them the door but they have to walk through it type deal so the idea here is right yeah so previous round I made them uh, use a minimum of three figures so in theory they could do the same this time around you know if they if they managed to do it right or if they got the good feedback the idea right is is the structure of the topics have been in a way where uh, the feedback you get you can feed into the next round to some degree if you if you're inclined to do it But the idea is like now, now everyone has done minimum of three figures who is in the final. They have uh, painted materials. They have uh, painted uh, nature to some degree. And they painted mood, um, you know, uh, the dark fairy tale. So in theory, they have a full, full palette of things that they have practiced. So that if they want to, they can actually um, create a quite an interesting image by default because they practice all these steps. So indestructible, you can you can use all the previous topics in one if you know you know if you if you want, or at least it will get informed of what is required. Uh, if you're smart. And th hence the, the idea of the last topic being indestructible. Like, so far you haven't been able to be destroyed by the topics. Gria, that's interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to see uh, what the, what that end up ends up looking like? Black Sable, just do a self portrait. <laughs> yeah. The finalists have have done some amazing work. I, um, if you look at that um, hype trailer I, I I posted at the beginning of the stream, uh, <coughs> that one um, around the midpoint of that uh, trailer, there is like the hype part of uh, the finals, and in there you'll see uh, all the work. All the thumbnails from all the the entrants, and um, and uh, <coughs> I had a look at all of them when I put that trailer together. It was really really cool, and there's so many amazing pieces I uh, totally had forgotten about, and the idea. <coughs> Uh, the idea is uh, after the stream, after the um, after the competition is over, I will have a poster available 
uh, with all the entrance um, kind of in a landscape format, a large, like an A3, or the biggest print available if anyone is interested. And um, with all, all the images wrote up like a tribute piece. Um, uh, available on my um, print store so anyone who wants to uh, can uh, can buy a print and the winners uh, obviously will get the same poster but also <coughs> they will get uh, a special version with their winning uh, one, two, and three will get a special poster with their own piece on, uh, like last year. So they'll get two posters. Miguel, yeah, ACDC, yeah. <laughs> Spectre, yeah, there is um, there is this technique of um, defining material in the Terminator. Terminator being the edge where um, where shadow uh, turns to light. So that, that's what the winners will get. They will get uh, again, I'm messing up that. I'm like, I'm so heavy handed. It's so annoying. That's something I want to practice, which I, I have, haven't have found a good way to practice, is that super light uh, only suggests things in the... like in the Terminator, and everything else is just super gentle. There's something fundamentally wrong, I think, um, with my process or my approach to values I think we I need to study this further um, and read up a little bit about it somehow or how to paint on the like this exposure being I don't I don't know Hey, Joker. He's my cousin, Joker. Joker zombie. By the way, uh, I will do this. Hey, Cosmoverse, how's it going? You guys should uh, follow Joker and uh, possibly help him with his fundraiser. He's uh, doing... Uh, like uh, for cancer treatment uh, for uh, sick children on his Twitch. It's a good cause. And his daughter is experiencing 
going through the treatment as well. So it's a bit... All the support you can give would be great. Hey Lurib, have a great day. Hey Gino, love, how's it going? Spectre, Iron Griffin, I know Iron Griffin. Uh, I know him even slightly on a personal level over the years. Um, the whole light side being gentle in, in, in how you paint the values it's just something I got to practice more of. I, uh, I just don't know really. I don't have that like gentle aspect of my brush marks, which is something I've been really annoyed by over the years. Because the way I paint is just so brutish. I guess that's a good thing to study then, I, I assume. How about those circle skills, Bjorn? Oh, shit. Hey, Amir, how's it going? Hey, Max, uh, you saw it as well, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. I decided to do a morning study. It's really, really good. I mean, she's an illustrator herself, and uh, she definitely has the eye for uh, light and what's what's good. It's really fascinating to see, and because a lot of photos she posts is is quite powerful. Amir, how I am? Oh, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Uh, my daughter had some episodes last night, which made me having to monitor her all night. So my brain is mashed potatoes. Unfortunately. Well, all in all, good though. And yeah, Max, you didn't take this photo by accident. It wasn't like, oops, I, I accidentally stumbled on a great shot. She definitely, I mean, she had more photos in the, in the shoot of herself. Uh, but um, yeah, she definitely knows what she's doing. Really cool to see. You know, a, a really skilled artist or willing to uh, use her own self as a mean of artistic expression. It's not everyone who, who dares to do that. So it's pretty cool.
And for those who don't know, if you at her on Instagram, you'll see all her paintings. Miguel Inspector, just an Amir. Uh, Steven, uh, I mean, you can, you can add her on your study after the stream when it's finished. Uh, I sent her uh, my portrait last time and I sent some other of the other uh, portraits that people had done from Discord, uh, pointed her in the right direction to the person who had done it. Uh, she appreciated it and of course. Yeah, so needless to say, my brain is, is cooked. Having to, as soon as you made a move or made a noise, you had to wake up, sleep next to her, be ready. It's really draining. It's a fun portrait. I'm actually quite enjoying looking at all the subtleties. There's a lot of really cool things happening. And what I love about doing studies and you're looking at a certain thing is the fact that you are kind of encapsulating your mind to chase for this one specific thing. And when you're looking for it, you're looking and looking and looking and all of a sudden there is this kind of reveal moment where where things are just appearing like you have you haven't been able to see it before this very point but now it's there and it's so interesting that like, so many times is that you can't see it until you've reached that level of investigation and that's what I love about doing studies and looking really deeply into a uh, subject that you're studying like I'm looking at a lot of color variations currently and I'm trying to be light in in my definitions but it's so cool that things are just appearing and I think that's I think one of the beautiful things about art in general and and having to wanting to observe something and learn it it's, it this happens a lot of times for me when i'm doing uh, life drawing when i'm r looking really hard at a subject and then it kind of just magically appears the things i'm uh, the thing i'm looking for I think that's one of the best moments of of art for me. Like almost like you are you've breached some sort of hidden veil 
and now now you see the the hidden truth I love that about art And also, like, if you want something to be really, really red, like, you, you have to desaturate or make it less red around it, which is also such a fascinating brain hack. Like, only with contrast can you really push something. Not so much pushing the red all the way to the right on the slider, but actually pushing the other colors around on the opposite direction in order for the red to be more red which is such a hilarious um, hilarious thing to kind of grasp your head around. Amir, even with my cooked brain. Mm. Black Sable, her name is, yeah, it's on the, on Instagram. Does this trick work with gold as well? Uh, what do you mean, Max? Which trick? Oh, looking at something and you see more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, DMK screen. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, Max, you mean um, gold uh, color adjusting. Yeah, it is the same. It is the same for sure. That's the thing, right? If you when you paint gold. If you if you force the colors around like this let's say the highlight in different directions and desaturate in other areas you'll see how the gold will come off more as gold the more you push everything up towards the oranges the less gold it will be It is these kind of simple things, right? It's about controlling the saturation at points where it makes the most difference. And depending on what kind of saturation, to what extent, or lack of saturation, it'll, it'll change the way we perceive the color. Not so much the color itself, what you're painting, but what uh, what what's getting boosted? It's the same with like if you want a sense of three dimensionality in, on something. It's about managing the values around that whole uh, section, and not so much the, that isolated section. But everything around needs to be pushed and pulled. So it's the same, like if you want to have something, have a sense of coming out from the image, you blur the surrounding area, right? Then, then all of a sudden that thing that you want to pop comes out. You haven't done anything extra on the actual object, but what you're doing is you're pushing the details down in the surrounding area 
in order to push the, the focal point forward. So it's the same principle of color. Not necessarily every time if you want to have fire, for example, you, you doesn't necessarily need to push it the more red. Is that you have to push all the other colors down in order for the sense of fire to come across. Which is, you know, a mind bender. Because generally you you want you would like to something that's intense, you'd focus on the intense aspect of what you're painting. Not so that the fact that you have to de -tense, intensify the surrounding area in order for the area you want to be intense. To come across as intense, you know. But that's the way that's the way it works. Which is hilarious. Man, I, I could sit and paint this study all day. Really fun. Again, when you look at something that's really, really subtle, and the, the harder you look, the more subtle things you see. Especially if you're like focusing on hue variations, you all of a sudden you're seeing all these subtle hue variations. Or if you're focusing on forms, all of a sudden you're seeing all these little subdued forms and details. And, and the fun, the most interesting thing is we all see different parts because we are thinking about different parts. And then it, it all translates differently because we can choose to push another detail that we are seeing because of our preferences and that's why one of the things i love about doing these study mondays is seeing all your studies as well and you can see it passing through the filter of you which is always always fascinating the lens of you to liquefy her a bit. I messed up. Better. Still not good. <laughs> Steven, yeah, exactly. All right. This is what it ended up looking. What was that? No idea. Oh, back. I would have loved to spend some more time on controlling the values and controlling what's right and wrong, play around with um, the subtleties of the lit side, which I don't think I really nailed that well. Like, I would have loved to spend more time um, going down that route. But I mean, I think that's the beauty of doing these quick little studies as well, is that you're doing like a bite size of focus. And after that, if it brings you like a a need to do more, I think that's a good good sign that you've uh, picked up something that uh, you want to keep 
uh, learning more about. What kind of study you did just now, flirptastical? If you if you type apostrophe ref, uh, you'll get this photo. So my study of today was of her. She's an artist uh, who also does uh, she does these portraits of herself. Uh, we've studied another photo of her on another Monday. Um, she does these really cool uh, lighting situations. I think for her own. Uh, references and she shares them on her profile um, so it's really cool to see so a lot of times she has some really good light uh, because she's a painter herself um, so today I, I took uh, this as a study because I was really intrigued to see um, to study this light this subtlety uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you should study this subtlety, but there's a lot of things in this reference that you can find to study. And um, every Monday we do, we do study Monday. Uh, so find what you think is good beforehand, before you start. And as you start, uh, set, the, set your goal, what you want to learn. And each study, each person can study whatever they want from the reference. And next week you'll have another one. Uh, Flurp, I focused on the one of the intents was that I wanted to have was to try to capture the subtle subtlety of the light on her lit side and and having a lot of the focus on her in her shadow side. Uh, I'm, I'm not that good of that gentle brushwork. Um, I talked about that during the stream. I'm a bit aggressive in my marks. <laughs> um, so it's a mixed bag in, in terms of result. Uh, but yeah, values and colors was my focus. Not so much about uh, copying the photo. So there's a lot of things that you can uh, study if you want. Um, like I said, I chose to study the color uh, and not so much. If you, if you try to replicate a photo, you only learn that much. Uh, but if you set the goal out beforehand of what you want to uh, learn and, and it's like a focused study, right? Okay, I want to learn proportions. I want to learn form. I want to learn color. And if you do that and you analyze what you're looking at, you're going to see more and more and more of the things that you're looking for. Because if you're just copying, um, you're not focusing and you're just replicating that pixel to that pixel. Um, so I, I purposely did this study to try to find uh, few variations and trying to be subtle in my brushwork and, and uh, the likeness suffered due to it. Flurp, yeah, it's good to practice a little bit of everything. All right, let's, uh, let's find someone to raid. Um, Okay, that looks pretty fun. Let's rate that person. Um, all right, have a great day, everyone. See you tomorrow morning um, for your topic. Uh, I'm gonna paint your topic. Um, I'm gonna do the outro and then take you to the raid, so don't go anywhere. Good night, see you tomorrow. Tools.